It's a quadruple shooting that sent shockwaves throughout Detroit's west side. And tonight, the suspect facing a judge via video conference. This was a totally vicious, uncalled for, and unhinged attack on the community members in that park that night. 17-year-old Alvin Noble answering four counts of assault with intent to murder and related charges in a video arraignment for a shooting that wounded four people at Stein Park on Detroit's west side just over a week ago. One shot struck a three-year-old child nearby, a six-year-old child nearby, a pregnant 18-year-old woman was struck, and... Um, a woman, another 18 year old woman was struck in the face. Prosecutors say the gunfire was the result of a fight that broke out between the suspect's sister and one of the victims at the park. Investigators say once the fight happened, Noble's sister called him over with him arriving carrying a gun. Sources say words were exchanged and then shots rang out hitting the victims. Some of the drama being linked to what prosecutors call an unstable life at home with Noble allegedly making plans to leave for Seattle. At the the time of his arrest, the defendant was um, seen leaving his house with a duffel bag and a packed backpack. Um, and further, the defendant, uh, who is 17 years old, did admit to unlawfully possessing a firearm for at least two years. I'm totally upset about every last bit of it. Detroit community activist Pastor Maurice Hardwick, also known as Pastor Mo, says what happened in this case is all too common with young people picking up the phone to settle a beef with a gun. Young men, do not accept a phone call like this. If they can't call you over to uh, when they got their paycheck, don't get called over to a beef. They don't call you over when they're going shopping or when they're going to get a new car. They're going to, they got a new, a new job lead or a new business. They call you over to come over here and slide for the beef and leaving you now in a world of trouble. Prosecutors say three of the victims were innocent bystanders who had nothing to do with the beef that sparked the shooting. Police made it clear no one else was in danger that day. I wanted the community to know that no one else is at risk. When you get a quadruple shooting, you get a lot of calls and people saying, what's going on with the arrest? Is anybody in custody? We're told the victims are expected to be okay, at least physically from this ordeal. The other charge is that Noble's facing four counts of assault with intent to do great bodily harm, one count of carrying a weapon with unlawful intent, one count of carrying a concealed weapon, and nine counts of felony firearm. His bond was set at $500,000 cash. At Detroit Police Headquarters, Dave Kinchin on the edge.